Merry Christmas, everyone. We have arrived at Jumbo House, Animal Kingdom Lodge, for dinner to start our trip. We just arrived. We are not staying here. We'll tell you where we're staying when we get there. But we are here right now to enjoy dinner at Jika, which we have not done yet. And yeah, this is Christmas at Disney. So we've gotten our seats. So I'm going to show you quickly the menu here at Jico just to kind of scan it. If you want to see what any of that is, you can just pause the video as you go. Diane and I are looking at the drink menu as well, but I'm looking at getting most likely the fish and she's looking at getting most likely the short rib here. We'll let you know if that's what she actually decides or not. Um, but right now she's looking at the menu of the drinks. Um, she's looking at wine flights and other things. I probably will get just some sort of beer. South African beer. Um, are you thinking you're going to get it wine, you said, probably? Some sort of wine flight? And they have recommendations on the menu. Yeah, for each of the um, items, even the... Oop, let's focus. Even if it's like appetizers and everything else, they have something next to it that they recommend. Um, obviously not the cheapest of the stuff, but, you know, we'll see what they have. But yeah, we'll go from there. Diane, of course, one with the wine flights, the white... White plate? Yeah. White wine plate. Chenin Blanc, grown at three different elevations. So the first one, these are all Chenin Blanc. Um, South Africa's claim to fame is the Chenin Blanc. So if you ever get it, this one is just perfect for it. It's going to be almost like a pinot gris, light, fruity, but not necessarily a sweet or dry. Uh, the first one's going to be the highest up elevation. It's up a mountainside. It's going to get the most cold, too. Um, most sun exposure, though, as well. Second is going to be midway down the mountain. Um, it gets a westward wind, um, but it's also the sun is affected too because it's on the opposite side, so it doesn't get as much wind. Or I mean, even, uh, yeah, morning sun. Westward, right? Yeah. <laughs> You'll notice right away down in the color too. Oh, wow. And again, same great, but this last one's only about a kilometer away from the sea. So there's a lot more cold, so it really needs a bit more like minerality in this one. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. It's hard to tell the coloring, but you can definitely see it. Yeah, you can see the coloring difference. And I just got the uh, Jasmine um, IPA. I'll let you know how they are. We had some bread arrive. It is sweet potato bread with fennel and something, and something. I don't know what you said, but yeah. some stuff on top. And then we have some butter that has some stuff in it too. Yeah. But we're going to try that, let you know how it is. But Diane. Um, likes the third yeah, one. Yeah, this one. The highest oh. on the mountain one. It tastes like juice. And then this one's more like your typical white run milk. And this is super dry. Super, super dry. Like, yep. Like, that was... It's drying on my skin. Just talking about it. And the, uh, the beer here is very fruity aftertaste, which is good. It's fine. We'll let you know how the bread is. Hello there, Mr. Fish. So this is the sustainable fish with a lot of uh, veggies and things on it and an orange sauce. So as you can tell, head on, tail on, traditional. Diane's short rib has arrived as well. She's gonna see how well that tastes. Do you wanna take a bite now? Sure. You would hate it, I love it. So. The you in that sentence would be me, but she likes it a lot. So I'm gonna see how my fish tastes and go from there. So Diane and I have both finished our meal. How was yours? It's super good. Like, the, I don't know what Sam is, but I think I enjoyed it. The sauce around the um, shrimps was a little spicy. I actually would order it next time without that. And honestly, it was too much to eat. And we only have like a little sweet potato bread thing. It was super yummy. For me, I enjoyed my fish. Obviously, it was um, very well cooked and flaky and tasty. Um, we got here, what time? Almost about 10 till 9. So we flew in, we came directly here. 
So I wasn't really super hungry. I wasn't in like eating mood because we kind of had done a lot of stuff today and everything, but it definitely, I'm hit the spot. So I think, I don't think mine was too much to eat. It was probably the right amount to eat, but it was pretty good. So we enjoyed it. We're gonna pay for it now. And then we're gonna be heading to our hotel. Yay. So we're here where we're staying for this trip at All Star Movies. There's a red carpet as you enter. They have a tree up, which is great. Some star-shaped wreaths with some movie reels inside as ribbons. We have, obviously, there's the new movie that came out, The Nutcracker. I'm sure that'll change over to be uh, Mary Poppins here soon. With that coming out, it's this little photo spot with some stuff you can take pictures of. One of the things that we did before we got here was we ordered Amazon Prime now for some waters and some Red Bulls. So Diane is currently at Concierge to pick that up. Hopefully they'll have that easily for us to get. We'll grab it, we'll go to our room. Um, we've not been here before, so we don't wanna know how the room setup is and where to go, but we're gonna do that here in a second. But Diane's in line for the Concierge. There's a few people in line, so it might take a little while. Um, but yeah, this is so far pretty cool. They got um, photos on the wall of different movies and things. So I'm gonna walk over here and show you that. Um, there's Diane with her red ears on. Yes, Diane said that is a step and repeat for the Nutcracker. So you can see that they have the uh, double feature, which is the gift shop here. They have phone bank, uh, SIM card area, um, different things. But obviously you can see here, different pictures from different movies. And the food court is right over here to the right. And we have some more wreaths uh, for the holiday. I have a golden Mickey. And just showing different things here. Uh, not really sure what that's supposed to be. But that's something that's coming or came, I guess. Not even sure what that is, but apparently that's today. I guess that's maybe, it's like a daily thing. And that's Guillermo, that's someone that maybe is staying at the hotel. That might be what that's for. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll show you more of the um, different stuff. Maybe the um, gift shop and the food court when we actually utilize those facilities. But for now, we're going to get our goods from Concierge and then go to our room. And we'll show you that as we go. So to our surprise, it seems like our delivery has made it to our room before us. We just want to go off and get it together. So... Uh, Obviously, that's not a Disney fully resort, so Swan and Dolphin has their own policies and issues. But we're we're gonna walk to our room. Um, this should be a fairly short walk because we are at a preferred uh, location, which is the uh, Toy Story rooms. Um, we're turning left at the Star Building, is what she said. And I think we're going to go left again. This is the Fantasia Pool, which you can see with Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey, conducting the water that is staying still at the moment. But so is he because he's a statue, so it makes sense. And we have a large star here for the All Star Movies Resort. Food court is on the left. There is a stand here where you can get drinks and things outside as well, called the Silver Screen. But we are making our way to our room. We're going to be going into Andy's room uh, before we get to our room, of course. But uh, yeah, this is kind of neat. We're hoping that as the bell uh, stand attendant said, our stuff will be in our room and no issues will be there. But as you can see here, we're making our way to Toy Story Building 10, I believe, is where we're staying. Um, yeah, definitely smells like fried food in there. Um, which makes sense. And yeah, we're making our way to our room. We have Sunrise Yoga. If we were um, wanting to do that, they had that at, we saw a sign for that at the Yacht Beach Club as well. Um, but yeah, so far so good. This is kind of neat. We're making our way. So there you can see RC the RC car in front of us. You can see the stairways. Here are the army soldier buckets, bucket of soldiers. Um, 
strangely, um, the, the streets are lit up pretty well, except for when you get to RC, he's kind of dark. Uh, but it is what it is. We're gonna try and figure out which, uh, which room we're in. Um, I think Diane will have to look up the app to make sure we know which one we're in, but we're in uh, a nine something. Um, we'll see real quickly which one we are in. This is 10, we're in the third floor. Um, don't know if we're gonna have to go up the uh, stairs with our bags or if there's an elevator somewhere. Um, I believe Diane says there's an elevator in this direction. Yes, it looks like there might be an elevator with the ice and bending um, in this direction. This, um, we'll be honest with you, is the part that we were a little um, timid about, which is the um, rooms being outside. Um, if we're on this end of things, I think it'll be pretty quiet. If we end up on Andy's room side, which we'll, we'll show you that in the daylight, it's not really worth showing you right now. If we end up in that side, it might be a little bit uh, louder. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But there's the ice and the vending. And here uh, to our right are coming up on the elevators. And an elevator is already open for us. Oops. So we'll be heading up to our room. You can get in-room delivery with a minimum order of $15. So it's like a half an item. Yeah. <laughs> Basically one item, yeah. It's two, babe. Oh, it's two? Sorry. <laughs> Was not paying attention. Filming and not looking. Uh, but we're heading... Really? We're heading to which room are we in? 935. You, you, you had a bug on you. Oh, okay. Because we're, we're in Florida. On me. We're in Florida, so there's going to be bugs. 935 is going to be to our left. And probably right by the vending, <laughs> if we're so lucky. Um, 935. Oh, is... Back in the back end here. A little bit further of a walk, but hopefully a little bit quieter of room. So we'll see what entails as the stay goes on. But yeah, we're walking, following Diane. Gonna, gonna watch her use her magic band to get us into the room. And hopefully as we get in, see that our um, goodies have arrived ahead of us. Um, she's nodding, she seems to think that they did. Hey, they did. So, and this is a refurbished room. Um, we'll do the room tour now because we have not uh, utilized it yet. So um, we have some plugins here with some USB ports. Um, this is a foldable uh, area. You can make it bigger or smaller. And we do have the bed here um, that can be folded down, which we're not going to be utilizing most likely, but you can if you need to. Do have a small fridge and a coffee maker. Does not come with a Keurig coffee maker like some of the deluxes does, but it does have a coffee maker. Um, we do have window to the outside. We have no view whatsoever to speak of, which is fine by us because that means we're not near high traffic area. Uh, we have a very large TV in the center of the room. We have uh, Mickey, Minnie, and Donald greeting us above our beds with some cool O-ring lights. Um, we have some coat hangers, a sliding door for the restroom privacy. So keep that in mind. It's a sliding door to save some space. Um, we do have a sink in here, single sink, uh, a mirror, and ironing board, iron, uh, hair dryer, closet so, space. We don't own an iron or ironing board. That and is I correct. had to borrow one for my Nana. Yep, we did have to borrow one to utilize for some iron-on stuff, which you'll Ooh, see nice later in the trip. Um, large bathroom. The uh, restroom is separated from the sink, which is and nice. Is um, and the only thing that uh, some people are going to complain about, which we're not going to because we bring our own toiletries, is the H2O toiletries are pump and not take home travel sized. Um, but it's a rainfall shower head with a tub attachment here. And yeah, that is the new standard um, refurbed room. Uh, more plugins here with the USB and some on both sides 
of the bed. So yeah, we're gonna um, go to sleep now because it's time. Oh, they have hangy things, yes. They do have hangy things for coats, magic bands, ears, etc. Or park bags, etc. Alright. Good night. Good night. <laughs>